the U.S. Army Engineer Waterways Experiment Station, now the U.S. Army Engineer Research and Development Center, was born out of strife and the tragedy of the 1927 flood. Wes was designed to meet a unique need, to answer the call for flood protection along the Mississippi River. Since 1930, thousands of models have been constructed and tested by Wes, and the original hydraulics laboratory has branched out into many different fields of scientific and engineering research. For example, using their expertise in hydraulic modeling and soils testing, coupled with an agility to tackle tough problems, West researchers delivered mobility solutions for Allied troops across Europe and during the invasion of Normandy on D-Day. After World War II, West returned its focus to its Civil Works mission of flood control, river and harbor improvements, and hydraulic structure design, but it never abandoned its newfound military mission, an area that continued to grow alongside its Civil Works mission. To meet the nation's challenges, Wes also developed new areas of expertise, such as structural dynamics, erosion control, channel stabilization, and coastal engineering. It's a well-established and widely accepted fact that physical hydraulics models are not only a choice, but an essential tool for analyzing hydraulic structures prior to construction because of the model's ability to solve complex problems and predict interaction with river flow, navigation, and the environment. One such study undertaken was the Olmsted Lock and Dam model. It's a, it's a project being constructed on the Ohio River. It's a $3 billion project and it incorporates two navigation locks, several bays on the spillway, and a series of wicket gates. And because of the total scope of this project, we had several scale models where we are investigating different aspects of the program. One of the major cost savings was our navigation model where we came up with a configuration of the coffer cells that are used during the construction project. The beauty of the Olmstead project is the fact that all the model studies we did cost less than one half percent of the project cost. Wes, now Erdic, has unique facilities that allow large-scale modeling and long-term use and storage of these physical models. This equates to a large return on investment for the customer over the duration of any given project. But the amount of facilities that we have, flow rates that we're capable of achieving here, the different types of wave machines that we have to, to look at a different spectrum of wave environments. So we have a lot of capabilities here that, that don't exist in totality anywhere else. Sophisticated models and state-of-the-art technical equipment have replaced the rudimentary implements that were first used, and Erdic personnel have consistently invented new products and perfected tools over the years to maximize the accuracy of model predictions for its customers. So we have a wide range of numerical model capabilities, and some of them are new developments, some of them are continued developments of some of our older tools. With that, we have a lot of tools that we're developing to manage big data that's required to do those models. And all of this, tools for us to manage the big data that we have, but also access big data that other agencies may have, and serve that up in a web-based capacity so other researchers and other, uh, other decision makers can access those tools. Wes wrote the book on hydraulic engineering with its first chapters written in response to a national crisis in 1927. As our nation's challenges have grown, so has Erdic's expertise to solve them. From solutions that save soldiers' lives, to developing novel materials to repair aging infrastructure, and engineering with nature. So world-class facilities, world-class people, world-class mission, it's a hard combination to beat. The power is the people and the willingness to work together to solve these common problems that we're facing as a world today. We can think out of the box on any kind of a problem you have and apply it to any challenge we face in our mission areas. So when you have a, an anthropologist working with a geospatial engineer, working with a computer scientist to come up with a predictive tool for Afghanistan, that's a very, very powerful combination. Who thinks of things like that? We do, and we bring that to the game every time. Erdic is committed to discover, develop, and deliver new ways to make the world safer and better every day.